What's up stock investors? Mike the investor and in this video we're going to be looking at my $9,000 dividend portfolio where I only hold individual companies and no ETFs. So if this is your first time hanging out be sure to go ahead and smash that like button and also click the subscribe button as well and if you can share this video out with a friend it really helps out the channel and it also helps this video get out to a broader audience. Let's jump into it. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Now before we pull up the Robinhood app, if you are a newer investor or maybe you just want to check out a different investing platform, go ahead and check out the Robinhood link down in the description. We will both get a free stock and it will help us out on our investing journey. So let's check it out. So as we can see here, my portfolio value is $9,040.72 and I was currently down during market hours at 0.38% and after hours, I was down 0.10%. So as we go to the one week, you'll be able to see I am up 0.90% and that is just $80.39. As we hit the one week, I'm currently up 1.84% and that is $163.58. And as we go over to the three month, I'm currently up 10.91% and that is $889.52. And if we hit the one year, I'm only up 0.96%, and that is $86.37. And for the all time, I'm only up 1.35%, and that is $120.34. As we look at my buying power, it is just $3.04. I didn't make any purchases this week but I most likely will uh, here in the near future. Also, Apple is going to be doing a four to one stock split. So that's gonna be uh, very crucial for investors. It does go live August 31st. So me personally, I will be buying into Apple at that time. But Apple is one of the companies that I missed out on. And if you go all the way back, if we scroll down, actually let's type in Apple here. I'm gonna type Apple in. And let's just check it out. As you can see, their current price, $427. Now, when they closed uh, Thursday, the stock was only about $384. So now we can see what the stock price is currently. So if we hit the one week, we can see Apple's up 14.04%. But if we hit the one year, you can see they're pretty much up 100%. So if you would have invested in Apple one year ago, you pretty much would have made all of your money back. So if we go over to when the market did back in March when we had our crash, I was really contemplating on investing in Apple. And if we scroll down, I believe 225 was the lowest. So yeah, right about $225, we could have invested in Apple during the March crash. And if you did, you pretty much would have made most of your money back uh, because Apple was a high growth tech stock. So this is one of the companies I'm going to be purchasing in the near future when the stock split goes into effect on August 31st. So if we look at the first position, it's going to be Microsoft. They need no introduction, one of the largest tech companies in the world. They have over a trillion dollar market cap and they also been growing their dividend for over 16 years as well. So I have five shares. The market value is $1,027.55 and for my average cost, $171.87 and I'm currently up at 19.57% and that is $168.20. As we look at the next position, it's going to be Johnson & Johnson, a dividend king in the healthcare sector. As we move on down, you can see I have a total of four shares. The average cost $583.04, my average cost $139.70, and I'm currently up just 4.33%, which is $24.22. Now, I've been waiting for quite some time for Johnson & Johnson to drop lower you know, to my average cost so I can buy some more shares in, because I would definitely like to get at least $1,000 invested in Johnson & Johnson for starters. So as we go over to the next position, it's going to be IBM, this is also the newest addition to the portfolio, a very large tech company. IBM stands for International Business Machines. As we scroll on down to the position, I have a total of five shares. The market value, $614.70. My average cost, $119.96. 
and I'm currently up at 2.48% and that is $14.90. The next position is going to be Procter & Gamble. This is also a dividend king in the consumer staple sector. As we move on down, you can see I have an upcoming dividend from Procter & Gamble on August 17th. I have a total of three shares, market value $339.36, and my average cost is $110.29, and for my total return, I'm currently up at 18.89%, and that is $62.50. As we look at the next position, it's going to be 3M. This is also a dividend king in the industrial sector. As we move on down, my position is four shares, the market value just over $600, and as you can see for the average cost, $159.62, and I'm currently down at 5.73%. And that is equivalent to $36.60. The next position is going to be Coca-Cola, also a dividend king in the consumer staple sector. This is more of a consumer defensive play in my opinion. As we move on down, I have a total of 15 shares. The market value is over $700 invested. My average cost $47.90, and I'm currently down at 1.61%, and that is $11.54. The next position is going to be Starbucks, and as we move on down, Starbucks needs no introduction. They have a total of 12 shares. My market value is a little over $900 invested, and my average cost $85.32, and I'm currently down at 10.28%, and that is $105.21. So I am down a little bit on this Starbucks position and I haven't been looking to add any more in. Even though I can lower my average cost, I'm looking to kind of add some more uh, shares of some of the other companies that I have. So as we move to the next position, it's going to be Disney. As we move on down, I have a total of six shares. My market value is $695 and my average cost $117.68, and I'm down at 1.47%, and that is $10.39. As we look at the next position, it's going to be Pfizer, one of the largest healthcare companies as well. As we move on down, I have a total of 15 shares. My market value invested is $575. My average cost, $37.39. I'm currently up at 2.60% and that is $14.56. The next position is going to be Altria. This is also a dividend king in my opinion in the consumer staple industry. As we move on down, I have a total of 15 shares. I have a total of $615 for my market value invested and my average cost $45.57. I'm currently down at 10.01% and that is $68.46. So I most likely will be adding probably additional five more shares in this company uh, next upcoming week. So I can have a total of 20 shares and that would lower my average cost a little bit as well. The next stock will be Bank of America and Warren Buffett actually invested about $1.7 billion into Bank of America in the month of July. So I think Warren Buffett knows something, but we also know that Bank of America is the second largest bank in the United States. And not only that, Bank of America made a announcement about three days ago where they have became the first bank to now offer commercial contact-free payments. So now they are offering mobile wallets and you will not have a debit card to go with that. So I think that is a very big statement and a very big announcement with investing, also tying it into the cryptocurrency market. So as we scroll down to my position, now you can see I have a total of 15 shares. My market value is only $372. My average cost $27.01. I'm currently down at 8.04% and that is $32.57. Now Bank of America also is probably another position and I'm definitely going to be adding more shares to. So as we move over to the next position, now we're getting into my REITs that I hold in this portfolio, starting with Realty Income, the monthly dividend company. So as we go on down, have a total of 10 shares. The market value is about $600 that I have invested into Realty Income and my average cost, $72.14. I'm currently down at 16.76% and that is $120.92. As we look at the next position, 
it will be stag industrial and this will be a re in the industrial industry as we move on down at a total of 10 shares the market value is just 326 dollars that i have invested my average cost 29 dollars and 88 cents i'm currently up at 9.08 percent and that is 27 dollars and 15 cents as we move over to innovative industrial properties as we go down to the position i have a total of five shares I have about $500 invested into this company and my average cost $74.49 and I'm currently up at 39.92% and that is $148.69. The last position in my portfolio, Apple Hospitality Re. As we move on down, I have a total of 55 shares. I have about $485 invested for my market value and the average cost $14.12 and I'm down 37.54% and that is $291.52. Now this position I'm down the most on out of any position in my portfolio and they also stopped paying their dividend as well when a lot of companies was cutting their dividend. So I only have two companies that I'm holding out of the 15 that are not paying me a dividend that will be Apple Hospitality Reef and also Disney. So those are all 15 positions in my portfolio. So as we scroll down to the first company on the watch list, you can see it is Apple. I will be buying Apple shares when their uh, stock split goes into effect on August 31st this month. And I would like to have about $1,000 invested into Apple. I'm not gonna do it all at one time, but I probably will invest about $500 into Apple at that time. So now we're gonna scroll on up and we will be able to see each position again. And if I hit the one day, this is just gonna show you, you know, the full value again, $9,040.72 is the full value of my portfolio. That's all 15 positions. Let me know down in the comment section on what you think about the portfolio and maybe what's your favorite position in my portfolio as well. And I will also like to know, are you gonna take advantage of that Apple four to one stock split that will go into effect on the stock market August 31st. Now, anyone who holds Apple shares, they will get their three additional shares per stock on August 24th. But for investors that don't hold any like myself and maybe you, we will be able to go ahead and buy in at the new price on August 31st. So be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I'm Mike the Investor. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, invest in yourself, and I will see you guys back next time.